How are you doing guys and welcome to part three of the Watch Me Build a Facebook campaign for Ecom clients. No, I don't waste no time. Okay guys and welcome back to lesson three of the, or I should say episode three of the Watch Me Build, a top of funnel campaign for our e-com clients. So in the previous modules we discussed, I gave you guys an introduction, um, I discussed the product which is the Galaxy Light that we're going to be promoting. Uh, we found our fictional client which is called Store. We set up the shells of our campaigns. Um, and I basically just mentioned, you know, how we can look at the tracking, how we can make sure that everything is set up correctly so that when you do actually start retargeting people that show interest, etc., cetera, um, every event has basically tracked, you know, amounts of data. We can then retarget those people based on the data. Okay, so what we're going to be doing today is setting up our campaign and our ad set. So I already briefly discussed it in the previous video. I set up this campaign shell here and I was basically going to be mapping that out. So um, what I'll do is I'll actually delete this and you know, set it up from start to finish. So the top of the funnel is no more. I'm going to set up a new top of the funnel. So as you already saw in the previous um, video, I went for the conversions objective. And the reason for that, if we just pan out again, is because we don't just want to target everyone. The way Facebook sets up the targeting is basically the same as what I'm going to try and explain in this uh, part here. So he basically Facebook, Uncle Mark, aka the Zuck, Zuckerberg, he views people as different types of personalities um, and I'm going to portray that with these buckets here. So if you are someone that is on Facebook, you know, you like to click on advertisements, but you're not someone that is most likely to purchase, then you will go into a specific bucket on Facebook. And then if someone wants a lot of traffic on the store and is not really interested about buyers, then, you know, it will basically put you, you know, view or show you that specific advertisement, okay? Because you are someone that is most likely to, um, you know, become website traffic, but someone that is not necessarily interested in purchasing. Then you have a bit more higher quality audience, which is an audience that is always you know, on the verge of purchasing items. You know, it's an engaged shopper on Facebook, etc. And then if Facebook wants, uh, or if Facebook gets the request of someone, so in this case us, um, to show people advertisements that are, you know, or people that are most likely to convert, then you'll basically be entered into this bucket and you'll see your advertisement. And then the same goes for view content and the same goes for like reach and impressions, etc. Okay, so with regards to the campaigns, if you want traffic, then by all means go for traffic. But nowadays, the only objectives that I use are conversions, catalog sales and lead generation, you know, if we actually set up stuff for our lead gen clients, okay? But because the majority, I think like 90% of our clients now are actually e-com, we use conversions and catalog sales. And the reason why, because conversions is a little bit more expensive, right? The reason why this is a higher quality traffic and why, yes, the cost per click might be more expensive, the click-through rate might be a little bit lower, but the reason why we still go for it, because these people are the higher quality. These people are most likely to purchase, okay? And the way you can view this, again, let me just increase the size of my pen, is as follows. So let's say this is an ocean. I actually explained this in uh, in the, the basically the Facebook challenge that we ran in uh, just before Christmas, and uh, I got a few laughs about this, but it did bring across the message that I was trying to show you guys. So let's say this is the ocean, right? This is the audience. So what do we say? We're going to target the US. So this is our US audience. Um, this is our campaign, our little fishing boat here, and our fishing rod. There we go, the worst, ugliest looking fishing rod in the world, but just bear with me. So this is our ocean, our audience, this is our campaign, our boat and fishing rod, and then we've got all different kinds of fish in our ocean that we could potentially catch, okay? And then the bait, uh, what should we use as bait? I don't know, let's just say this banana is bait, yeah? For some reason, the fish like bananas. So. This bait is our product. So this is, in this case, the Galaxy Light. This little pool of fish here, if we show our advertisements to this pool of fish, which is the traffic bucket, 
yes, you know, they will look at our banana, they will swim to the banana, but they won't actually bite the banana, they won't actually take the bait, okay? So these are people that, yes, you know, they are very interested in seeing it, but they won't actually end up biting the bait or buying the product. This audience here, same thing, you know, these people might, um, I don't know, they might even add to cart, so it's a bit of a higher quality audience, uh, you know, these people or this little pool of fish will again swim to the bait. They might even take a bite, but they won't bite hard enough that you can pull it out and, you know, basically uh, get that conversion. So again, these people will add to cart, but are most likely to uh, make the purchase first time round. And in this little audience here, you know, it's a little smaller audience. Um, these are the ones you want to go for. This is the cream of the crop. If these fish swim to the base, you know, these are the ones that are most likely to bite, you know, really bite down hard on our banana, uh, which sounds very weird now that I think about it. But, you know, these are the people that you can actually end up getting uh, purchases from. So, you know, we can go for reach and literally just swim around with our little, you know, boat and try and target everyone. But by targeting, trying to target everyone, you'll basically target no one, no one will end up purchasing. If you go for traffic, you know, like I said, you'll get... Um, fish that will swim around to your bait, but they won't actually end up uh, biting the bait. And then, you know, basically, if you want pages, just, just optimize for pages. That is what I'm trying to get to. Okay, so without ramming on too much, conversions, name, top of funnel. Um, so with the initials, top of funnel. And we said we're going to target US and we're going to be testing out images. So what we'll do, we'll do three different images. We'll do, um, shall we do three images? What we'll do, we'll do two images, two pieces of copy, and then we'll do two ad sets. That's how we're going to set this up. Okay, so BP, um, top of funnel US, and then broads. And then as I mentioned, we'll do another one which we use interest-based targeting for. Then the name will just be image one. Okay, continue, set that up. Wait for that to load. Not much is happening, why not? Maybe we need to refresh the page. Just we'll edit that one more time. Broad. Okay, and then where is our create ad? There we go. I have no idea what happened there. Something must have gone wrong. Um, so creating the advertisement. Image one. Facebook page, we haven't got one. Um, so what we'll do is we'll just use, I will need to blur this out guys for privacy reasons. We'll just go for the lifestyle design mastery Facebook page. Um, and that is what we're going to be using to promote this Spectra light. Okay, then in terms of the campaign, as I mentioned, we're going for conversions, and then what we're going to do is optimize for pages. I don't actually think this pixel, because it's a uh, Legion pixel, has got pages, but we'll just select it here. Okay, so we're going to optimize for the cream of the crop. We want purchases. We are not going to set up Dynamic Creative. What Dynamic Creative basically is, is let's say we've got um, four images that we want to test. Then what Facebook will do, it's basically like CBO, which we'll get into in just a second if you don't know what that is, for images or for content that we're going to promote for the creatives. So what Facebook will do is all four images, it will alternate and show our audience, so show our little fish, the image that is most likely to go and get us the conversion that we're trying to optimize for, which in this case is always purchases. Okay, so let's say Facebook knows that one specific person will always react positively to an image with a person on it, then it will show that that person or that potential customer the image with the person. Let's say another person or customer is most likely to just um, you know respond to the product with the with the you know, the product on it that is our galaxy light there we go then it'll show that particular image same goes for video and so on and so forth so some people are most likely to uh, respond well to videos and uh, some people are most likely to respond well to images with a lot of text on it okay so it depends on what kind of images you've got it will show the image that that person is most likely to um, respond positively positively to the only downside to dynamic creative is that our data is limited so if you split up the images separately one by one you can see the amount of clicks that we get you can see the outbound click through rate which is basically the amount of people that we get off of the uh, off of facebook onto the website 
we can see uh, much more metrics and so on and so forth. So I actually like to just use static images rather than dynamic creative images. So we're not going to be switching that on. Uh, we are going to be using CBO, which is campaign budget optimization, which basically is the same as this, but then for the whole campaign. So let's say the campaign has got two ad sets, which we are going to be using as well. So we've got one, which is uh, interest based targeting, which we're going to be selecting the different interests that we think uh, are people that are most likely to buy this Galaxy Lite. Um, and then we're also going to set up one broad and our budget is, let's say it's 100 a day. Then what Facebook will do is it will not allocate 50% of the budget to ad set one and 50% of the budget to ad set two. It will allocate roughly 80% of the budget to the ad set that Facebook thinks is most likely to convert. So we've told Facebook, okay, here's 100 a day. We want to optimize for pages. Um, you can allocate the budgets in any way that you think will get us the most purchases for our 100 budget. So you'll notice that 80% of the budget might actually go to the interest-based targeting and only 20% of the budget will go to the broad targeting because Facebook thinks that within those interests that we select, um, the people are more likely to make that purchase. Okay, so that is how that is set up and that is what we are actually going to use. So. Um, I'll do 20 because if I do more than 20, because this ad set is, or campaign is new, um, or this whole ad account is new, everything will come you know, falling down. I'll need to verify the business, etc. So let's just pretend that was 100 a day. So optimizing for purchase, that I'm a creative is off. Then in terms of the targeting, this is the broad campaign. So what we're going to do is just do the US, United States. Then in terms of the ages, leave it as is. In terms of the genders, leave it as is. In terms of targeting, leave it as is, okay? Now, before you all think, oh my God, Josh has lost his mind, he's not using the targeting, you know, we need to go hyper targeting, hyper laser focus, you know, all, what all the gurus tell you to do. What we're basically doing now is we're giving Facebook free reign to find us that particular audience. So this is now our audience, right? So this is our little ocean that we're, we're basically telling Facebook, listen, you can do whatever you want within this, as long as you get us the most amount of purchases for the budget that we've given. Now, if you want to really, you know, tell Facebook, listen, we're targeting the US, but I only want you to look at the fish that are between the ages of 18 to 24. And then within that age group, I only want you to focus on the females. And then within the females, I only want you to focus on people that have, I don't know, an interest in yoga. I wouldn't know why, but that's because you want to do and then within that interest i also want people that are interested in in hamburgers and then you know you're just going smaller and smaller and smaller and smaller um then you're basically just giving facebook this little audience here and you're telling facebook okay within this audience i want as many pages as possible it's not going to happen okay it's too targeted you're basically suffocating the ad set before it even gets any chance to optimize and to live so what we do is we just give facebook free reign and then from there we let facebook optimize because let's face it the algorithm the ai everything that is going on with facebook at the moment is much smarter than we are so just let facebook do its thing trust the process and you'll notice that your ads will perform perform much better because of it Automatic placements, same thing. Again, we can tell Facebook, okay, you're only allowed to use specific parts of Facebook. You're only allowed to use the newsfeed. You're only allowed to use, uh, I don't know, the Instagram stories, etc. which used to be a big thing, right, in 2018, 2019. Nowadays, just go for automatic placements. Facebook is much smarter than we are. You know, Facebook knows exactly where to place your ads to get the most amount of conversions for the audience or for the uh, budget that you give it. Okay, so that is it in terms of the campaign. That is it in terms of the ad sets. In the next video, I'll be setting up the actual advertisement and showing you guys how to do all that. And then as I already mentioned, as a little bonus, I'll also show you how to retarget those website visitors. So that was part three and the second to last part of this four part series of the What Can Build a Facebook campaign for Ecom clients. Hope you enjoyed it, hope you got some out of it. If you wanna know more about social media marketing and how you can get started with your own social media marketing agency, there are basically two things you can do. You can either request access to my lifestyle design community 
which is a free Facebook group and it also contains a free beginners course. Or if you want more you know, in-depth guidance and help and coaching from me, then what we can do is we can hop on a quick call. I will link everything in the description box down below. Um, like I said, we can just hop on a really chilled call, you know, no hard sell or nothing like that. It's basically just to get to know each other a bit better and to see if we are a right fit for each other. You know, do you like being coached by me and can I actually coach you? Are you someone that is a coachable person? If so, then I will offer you a place in my coaching program. But for now, I'm going to wrap up this video here. Thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment down below if you'd like me to do more video series like this. Subscribe to the channel for more and I'll see you guys for part four.